and welcome to this week's edition of Revved Up. Now, first of all, I know we are in unfamiliar territory because looks weird now, doesn't it? Well, let me tell you, we are at the quarry down in Muyanga. There's lots of activities going on here, as we shall be updating you later on in the show. But first things first, safety is everything Revved Up always talks about. So later on in the show, we shall be giving you a couple of safety tips for you guys who have so many questions about different cars and what they do. It is one of those things we suddenly shall be focusing on tonight. Now, there is a car company that is breaking new ground and as revved up, we pretty much have no option but always get you all the biggest headlines. So we have a special car on the show tonight for so many different reasons. And as always, we always take in your questions and answer as many as we can throughout our social media as we shall be discussing later on in the show. I'm Andrew Kabura. This is revved up. Let's hit the road. On this edition of revved up. Road Review, brought to you by NC Bank. You see, the beauty about Revd Up is we don't just test out some of the very best cars. No, sometimes we meet up with some of the super talented superstars in this country. If you're lucky, it will be a lady. Now, right behind me is a 26-year-old Ugandan, Patricia Apollo. Let me tell you something about her. This lady is a three-time international champion, a three-time intercontinental champion, and she has one African belt, super talented. And she even goes past the kickboxing. She's into boxing, she's into playing football. But because this is a car show, let us also let you know that she loves cars. She is the first of Fiat here in Uganda. But more interestingly, it is the real reason that is referred to as a champion strike. Now, you see, normally someone who doesn't win belts is the one who fights to actually put on the belts. And that is the reason it's me with the belts. Uh, Patricia and I have actually had an agreement uh, that I make sure I go on air with the belts. And she has accepted completely, without any questions. Beautiful, beautiful lady. Patricia, first of all, thank you very much yeah, uh, for, for being on Revved Up tonight. Uh, I have so many questions for you because I'm pretty much fascinated by your own career. A 26-year-old who has won already these three belts, and this is not all. Kickboxing, where did this whole kickboxing issue come from? Uh, actually, my dad was a former boxer, however much he didn't take it to a professional level. Mm. And, uh, and then after that, I saw my mother was an athlete as a runner. But to me, I saw most of my people, some are joining as engineers, journalists and stuff. So I was like, I want to pick up from my, where my parents left it. Mm. So that's why I decided to join on, on uh, sports activities. And I'm like, yeah, I think I can make it. Mm. And uh, yeah, here I am right now. I'm actually determined. We've, we've seen uh, kickboxers who try to make the transition to boxing and actually fail. We've seen some of those, but you've made that transition. Uh, it's been pretty successful. Uh, is it something you wanted from the beginning or later on you said, you know what, I can drop the kicks and do more of the boxing as well? Um, actually, it is something that, uh, as you see, kickboxing is uh, something, combination of kicks and, bo and uh, punches. So I was like, if I'm good also in kicks and punches on uh, the kickboxing world, why not try out in, uh, in uh, boxing? Because in amateur, I was playing as a boxer. So when I went to Germany, this guy is like, you're good in the whatever, just change into a professional fight and co continue with the boxing mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. So I copped up and I'm like, yeah, I'm good at it. Let, 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 let me ask you something very personal. Uh, did you ever be out there on, 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 on a training session or walking anywhere and you meet some guys who are like, hey, this one I'm not, try I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even trying to disturb it anyway. Um, actually, there are a lot of guys, but most of the people fail to understand me because when they meet me, they're like, this is not the girl we know. Mm. That because I'm calm, I, I don't behave like how some hooligans in the world, someone has trained for two weeks yeah. and is claiming to be a boxer because has black knuckles yeah. and starts threatening everyone on the street. No, actually, it's very few people who understand me after the ring. Mm. They will be like, ah, oh, we know, I think she's the one. No, she's not the one yeah. because I'm very calm, social, mm. noble, and I do what I like most mm. other than engaging myself into some useless thing. You're, you're into some film as well. You're, you're, you're quite all over the place. Yeah, uh, actually right now we are having a uh, UNTI stuff and uh, they're ask, asking me to be uh, a doctor in that movie. Oh really? And we are having a collab with uh, some uh, Nigerians who are coming in. And uh, we are successfully doing it because yesterday it was a shoot because I'm traveling tonight. Mm. And uh, everything went up uh, as we planned. Yeah. So my directors were very happy. Mm. 
and uh, we are looking at having something which will be more productive for the country, mostly for people who have cancer and yeah. those who are doing things in an unknowing way and they contract cancer and at the end of it all blame the government for it or blame mm. anyone. Mm. And we are teaching people the ways of to deal away with some certain diseases mm. as well. I, I want us to talk about Fiat and how she uh, fully got into this one. But I want to first ask her a very specific question. Uh, uh, earlier on in your life, I, I'm thinking your life was, was confused. I'm thinking your life was messed because when I read about you, you played football, you did kickboxing, your boxing. Taekwondo. Uh, taekwondo. Yeah. <laughs> What, what can't you make up your mind, Patricia? What can't you um, make up your mind? You know, in this world, actually, the people, I don't know either the advisors of the government don't want to tell the government where to really invest in the sport in order to push the country forward, or the country has become ignorant of what to do. Mm. So you find out that most of the time we try some other things and then we fail. Take for instance, I myself am a business of my own. So I have to invest on myself in order to push myself to be what people want. In yeah. order for someone to buy me, I have to, to, to actually buy things to make myself move. Absolutely. So if I see I'm not productive in soccer, I move out. If I see I'm not working out in kickboxing, I move out. Anything that I see that it's not selling me as a product, I have to go out. out yeah, so I saw that box, kickboxing was actually pushing me more than any other sport. So that's why I had to say all these sports go off and then I had to embrace kickboxing. The, the, the big question in the house. I mean, this is a car show, guys. Please don't, don't, uh, don't think you're, you're, you're tuned into a sports show this very evening. It's completely a car show. Fiat, yeah. you're the first here in Uganda. Yeah. Um, I was seeing you right before we came on set and how you are looking at the car. You are pretty excited. What, what is it you like about it? Uh, actually, you see that car is quite comfortable. This car has good wheels mm. and it's very strong. The air conditioner inside is really so nice and... Uh, the, it has Bluetooth, so mm -hmm. it is actually a more modernized car other than these cars that we talk of. Everything about it is just so unique. Mm -hmm. So like me as a champion, I feel it's a home for me. That's why they call it uh, the champion's choice. As yeah. you're talking about the whole Bluetooth issue inside, it's a very intelligent car on the inside. We've talked about how the relevance of trucks over the years has changed, and I think this pretty much epitomizes that. First of all, thank you very, very much. I hope I can keep the belts for a few... More hours. <laughs> <laughs> a, few, a, few, a few more hours. Uh, we'll, later on in the show, of course, we jump into the car itself. Pretty much show you what the car is all about. Put on, put on, put on, put on, put on, put on. Car Care, brought to you by Toyota Uganda. A new week and that means a whole new car care and like we've always said on the show before it's one of those segments you really need to pay attention to because it is everything about the basics when it comes down to your car most of the biggest mechanical problems in cars are because we couldn't pay attention to the small issues that actually were out from the beginning now you realize we are holding something i'm always joined us by fitsum who by the way is a training manager at toyota uganda we're also welcoming you to the service center beautiful big place so many cars coming in here to make sure they are sorted out different. So, this is an air filter. And Fitzum, you have one, I have one. I think we shall jump into this very, very shortly. Uh, but minus the English understanding, air filter, what is an air filter? For an engine to run smoothly, you need three things again. Okay? Mm. Clean air, fuel, and good compression. If you don't have a clean air coming into the engine, the engine will be damaged. Yeah. The performance of the engine will lower and your fuel consumption will increase. So the purpose of the air filter is now to clean or fine clean the air that is going into the engine. Uh, uh. Of course, uh, we, shall, we shall talk about the fuel issue because it is very, very pertinent when it comes down to the air filters themselves. But, so just to explain this, this is um, a used air filter. This is a new air filter. But then, at what point do I maintain it? At what point do I replace it? Very good question. Here in Toyota, you need to bring your vehicle every 5,000 kilometers so that we clean the air filter. Mm. But then every 20,000 kilometers, you have to replace it by mm -hmm. a new one. Okay, okay. 5,000 kilometers along, along other things that we check, the air cleaner is part of the service as well. Mm. We do cleaning of it. It, it. it probably doesn't seem to be the, the most popular of topics out there for, to find anyone talking about air filters, but hey, here is the interesting thing, like Fitzum says, your car needs fresh and clean air and that comes down to fuel now, doesn't it? Yeah. Because you have a bad air filter, a fake air filter, how does that affect your fuel consumption again? When you don't get enough 
air, then you cannot get enough burning of the fuel. Mm. You know, for fuel to burn, it needs air. Mm. Then we say the air has to be clean. So if this filter is clogged, for example, and it's not giving you enough air flow, then your performance will go down. Mm. The engine's performance will go down. And there's a very big battle out there from, from, from drivers who probably don't know which one is fake, which one is genuine, because having a fake new one is as good as having a very old genuine one now, isn't it? True. Mm. If you have a fake filter, it's either not giving you enough clean air, or it is not cleaning the air enough. You understand? One of the two problems. Mm. So a fake filter is like a suicide on your car. Yeah. Okay? You better use a genuine filter that is tested by Toyota several times and retested and improved as yeah. well. Yeah. Okay? So how do you know whether this is a fake filter or a genuine filter? Mm -hmm. Those people out there uh, producing fake filters are also very clever. They will make it look exactly the same, but you may not be able to to see the efficiency of the uh, cleaning efficiency yeah, of the filter. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, so yeah, to be yeah. sure, please come to Toyota, Toyota mm -hmm. to make sure that you're using a genuine filter. Thank you very, very much, Fitzum, and uh, we really appreciate. Look, small components on a car, like air filters, might be ignored by most of you guys. But let me tell you, if it's not well catered for, if you're using a not genuine one, you eventually are going to incur bigger costs moving forward from a mechanical perspective because then all this is going to affect your fuel consumption and the quality of how your engine will be running. The beauty, the good part, is that we have a beautiful platform for you now. Talk to Toyota. The email is t2t at toyota.co.ug. The subject line, put in revved up. Experts like Fitsum will always give you the answers and also make sure you get the best components, the legitimate components like air filters. And that way, your car life, my friend, will be filtered. Futuristic Vehicles, brought to you by Shell V-Power. Hot hatchbacks are an exciting category of automobiles, and all the bigger car brands are now vying to have the best, fastest, and most attractive model in this class. Nissan could potentially take the top spot, however, with their latest edition of the Nissan Pulsar Hatchback. This October, they will unveil the highly anticipated Nissan Pulsar Nismo, the hot hatchback upgrade that is faster and much more powerful than its predecessors. With a 1.8-liter four-cylinder turbocharged engine, this vehicle will produce 300 horsepower. Due to this immensely powerful engine, it will be able to reach a maximum speed of 248 kilometers per hour and can accelerate to 100 kilometers per hour in under six seconds. The exterior matches this power with its defined angular bodywork in white with red trim. It has bigger wheels than the Nissan Pulsar and rides lower to the ground. Nissan have given the interior of this hot hatch a sporty makeover with racing car seats and a black and red themed design. The Pulsar Nismo has been upgraded to enhance the driver's comfort, bringing the steering wheel closer to the driver's seat as well as including extra space for both the passenger and the driver. While we've yet to see if the Pulsar Nismo by Nissan will overtake the likes of the Audi RS3 or the Ford Focus RS, They've done a tremendous job of transforming an ordinary hatchback into a world-class hot hatch.
but welcome back to uh, Revved Up. We're still in Muyenga at the quarry. Now, this is what happens. Every time we go to shoot anywhere, at any location, we always take some interest on in what exactly is happening around. So there's something special going on behind me. And then look who we bumped into. Dr. Ian Clark is here. I don't want to give details on why exactly he's here. I should first of all say thank you very much for joining us. Welcome to Revved Up. You're welcome. What are you doing here? This is a, call it a pilot project, a demonstration house of a new technology in building. Um, the building, this technology uses uh, polystyrene sheets that are oversewn with galvanized steel in a kind of lattice work. Mm. So instead of using the, the rebar, you know, for the reinforcement, you're using a, a lattice work all through the wall. Mm. So basically you put in a light uh, foundation like this and then you, you, you build your polystyrene and, and, and galvanized metal walls and then you spread over with concrete mm. and, the, and, the, and the, the galvanized steel gives it a reinforcement so you end up with a very strong structure that's built very quickly we can put probably the walls up the, the polystyrene up in a few days mm. and, uh, and, uh, and it reduces the cost by 30 percent and we can probably build this house, the main structure, in about three weeks. Uh, I think you got your money's worth this very evening. You got to enjoy the cars. And now we have some construction tips as well. Ian Clark, thank you very, very much. Pleasure. Real pleasure. Thank and you. Uh, we shall come back to see the progress see the of house, this. So it gets on, yeah. Yeah. Thank, thank you very Thanks. much. Thank you very much. If you own a car or if you know someone who owns a car, then you and I understand how much everyone loves their car. But more importantly, if you love your car, then you want it to perform to the optimum. And the only way to do that is to make sure your engine is actually right. This is why the advice has always been use Shell V-Power. And this is why it cleans up your engine, prevents build-up and corrosion, so you can enjoy all the long-term benefits. So it's a simple saying, every time you need fuel, take that turn, get yourself Shell V-Power, look after your engine, Let's enjoy the experience. Fiat is perhaps best known for its excellent hot hatchbacks, so it's surprising to see them add to the ranks of the numerous other brands that have produced luxury pickup trucks over recent years. The Fiat fullback, however, is not just one of the crowd. With its 2.5-litre engine, the total horsepower generated is 136. This is combined with a 5-speed manual transmission, which makes the pickup ideal for off-roading due to the increased driver control over the car. Now recently, there's been a groundbreak from Fiat because they have moved on from their usual traditional, you know, town and house cars. I'm sure you've seen uh, the Fiat Panda, you've seen uh, the Fiat 500. They've actually broken ground and produced their first pickup. That is the fullback from the Fiat professional family. Now, with changing shape and changing designs means changing everything, whether it's down to power, whether it's down to space. And one of the things they have done for their first pickup is to make sure it has enough space. We start off with the load box. Pretty much the load box has about 1,500 millimeters in length to 1,470 millimeters in width, uh, with about 475 millimeters in depth. That means you can probably put about 20 of me in there. But more interestingly, it has a payload that goes up to 1,045. So yes, not just changing design for Fiat, not just changing space, but they have also made sure the pickup they are producing for their very first time is pretty much enough to help you go wherever you're going if what you're putting in here is anything to go by. The interior of the Fiat fullback lives up to the standards required by pickup trucks these days. It has a leather trim interior, steering wheel and shift knob. It is fitted with a top-of-the-line entertainment system with a 6.1-inch touchscreen, Bluetooth connectivity, and satellite navigation. There's a rear camera fitted, as well as lane departure warning. All right, so let's uh, start up this engine and see what this dashboard can actually show us. First of all, when you switch on your, your engine and look at the dashboard, uh, the, the dashboard itself, you just see a couple of airbag signs in there. There's airbags for uh, the driver and the passenger. So safety, safety is everything for Fiat as well. And then there is a little beautiful segment right here in the middle with a big screen, uh, which pretty much should help you with everything for your entertainment. I can see there's uh, where well, you can put a CD. There is a... Uh, uh, there's space for a memory card, there's USB in there, you can control your AC from here as well. And then when you look right in front 
of the steering wheel while the driver is seated. There's a small screen in there, uh, minus of course the, the, the other gauges. You can also look at your fuel, uh, what your fuel looks like, how much you've traveled in there. And then you have a couple of buttons on your screen, or sorry, on your steering wheel. You just have a small button where you can actually just look at your volume, if in case you're playing any kind of music out there. So, quite civilized on the inside, and one of the beautiful things about driving the Fiat is you're enjoying an experience of moving forward, but also a beautiful dashboard staring at you. Look now, with the back seats, I, I mean, I'm quite a tall guy, probably seven, eight feet. We can certainly have a debate about that one. But look at how much legroom and how much headroom I'm dealing with in the back seats, which, by the way, are cloth. But for now, let's get out of the back seats, take the front seat and take the wheel. All right, so the full back. We're going to take it for a drive. But let me first let you know what we're dealing with. We're dealing with about 136 kilowatts of brake horsepower. We are dealing with about uh, 324 newton meters of torque. We have uh, a five speed gearbox. Let's see how good it gets on the road. The one thing you need to know about this very car is everything to do with its fuel efficiency because uh, it takes in about 940 kilometers on a full tank. Now its full tank is about uh, 75 liters but for a driving experience when it comes down to how good a car is and how comfortable you can take it on most of these roads it's, it's not the kind of car you're always going to find struggling with in some of these roads. Alright, so at the very beginning we talked about how this is the first truck Fiat have produced uh, because they have really had so many small little family and, and, and town cars before. But when you drive, feel the handling, feel how it easily goes through any of the obstacles you find on the road, you've got to say, very good start from Fiat. And of course, forgive me for being a very big football fan, the word fullback in the modern game these days actually means Someone who has very high speed, can defend and actually can attack when it comes down to football matches. On a better road probably, on tarmac, very good high speed, probably lives up to the name, fullback. Fiat has certainly put its best foot forward with this truck, providing an outstanding pickup model that displays the traditional look of a Fiat with the power and multi-functionality required by this vehicle class. All right, thank you very, very much for joining us, folks. Always a pleasure having you for an audience. Hope you guys have enjoyed the fullback as Fiat ventures into a new territory. We shall be venturing in a new territory ourselves next week, so make sure you don't miss the show. Once again, thank you very much for joining us tonight. The big headline, be safe on those roads. Goodbye and good night. Next week on Revved Up.